What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be making a beat using my acoustic guitar. There's definitely been a lack of lo-fi beats using acoustic guitar, so I'm going to try and use it for the main chord progression as well as some textures, some drum percussive sounds from it as well. And I'll be dropping some free samples down below as well for you to use in your own music. Real quick too, the competition has started afresh, so every four weeks I'm picking a winner to win $20 worth of submit credits and $20 worth of credits to my store for sample packs and merch. All you've got to do is like and drop a comment on the video to enter and this is the end of the last week's one so the winner will be announced now i'm gonna roll this wheel of fortune and this winner will win 20 dollars submit hub and 20 dollars credits in my store so the winner is nesen uh thanks nesen for commenting on the videos and taking part uh, and yeah be sure to comment and like to be part of the next one uh but yeah onto the video so for this video i'm going to use my alvarez acoustic guitar it is a MF60, uh, just a solid body acoustic, and I'm going to be playing in uh, open C. And for this video, I'm going to be in 72 BPM. Um, so let's see what we can make. Okay, so I've got my sounds together. I'm just going to see what we can make from them. So at the moment, it's pretty hot up here. So my Mac fan is going wild, which is ruining a lot of recordings. But I recently got this plugin um, from Cleveland Audio, which is just a noise cancelling plugin. So if I drop that on there, play the intro, and then it learns the noise, gets rid of it. Okay, so I finished recording uh, all the guitar sounds. I've got a chord progression, which I liked. Um, and what I've done with that is I've recorded it uh, in a few different takes. So this is the strumming take. And I've also got a slower strumming take as well. So that's for the intro, and then it will blend into the fast one as it gets into the main bulk of the track. And what I've done is recorded the same thing in different takes. So that was a different take to this one. So now if I pan them left and right, it should give it a nice stereo feel and sound like that. And then that will blend into this. And I've also got this extra texture. Uh, which I think will work nicely later in the track. So at the moment I set the track to be just over two minutes, a little bit of a short one. And at the end of the recording, I started adding some of these percussive sounds, which I'm going to chop up. I can't use all of them. And then I also use a paintbrush, just rubbing it to the guitar for some brush-like sounds. So yeah, I'll drop a load of these percussive sounds uh, for free download as well, if you want to use them uh, for any of your tracks. So yeah, I'm just going to drop some of these into a drum rack. Okay, so I've dropped everything onto this drum rack. Uh, so all these different sounds, they're all still uh, dry. But I'm gonna process them in a minute as I add texture to the track. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do now is just to add some of my normal drums in and then 
boost them up with these guitar textures. I'll just drop this atmosphere on there as well for a bit of texture. As I said before, my drum rack uh, has been recently redone. Uh, I've just organised my favourite samples into one rack and it's easy to drop onto tracks. So just finished adding some kick and snare textures. As usual, I've just laid a couple of different sounds on top of each other to give the snare a little bit more texture. So it's just a basic uh, drum loop, ready to add in some of the percussive textures that I recorded from the guitar. So I just dropped a quick auto cut on there to drop any of the uh, real low ends that were interfering with the kick. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this. So this is all the textures from the percussive side of the guitar. Uh, just sound like this currently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten this. And then I'm going to filter the top end and cut out a little bit more lows. So I'm just dropping this filter delay on there to have a little bit more going on in the higher frequency. And now I'm just going to drop a tiny bit of convolution reverb on there. And then one plugin I've recently discovered, it's just a simple plugin called Half Time. And all it does is uh, slows down the sample basically depending on what you decide to go with it, how long you want the loop to be, how much you want to slow the sample down. You can also blend in the original track as well. So currently this is just purely slowed down. What I'm going to do is add this to the end for this. So it cuts out any of the low end that's been made from this plugin. And I'm just going to blend in this. And now if I play it back without this one, Now what I can do using the brush textures is to uh, layer them in as well. That's just sort of hi-hats. So all of them to these is literally just filter them. There's no other effects on there. So I'll use them as a little hi-hat loop. So it just gives it a nice little sort of I had texture uh, and then now I think I'm just going to record a bass line for it. Definitely a different sound to the typical like 5 Vive. Not sure how much I'm liking it yet but we'll see how it fits when I've got some more guitar and piano laid in. So I'm just going to work with that now, layer some piano and guitar melody just to make it look more interesting and see where it's at. So I've just done a slight bit more mixing and laid in a guitar lead and some piano. So the piano is just a simple melody uh, played in two octaves. Just on the Imagero piano. Uh, and then just a bit of a guitar layer. And 
then I've added a little uh, sweep in from cutting out the lows to blending them back in for the intro for all the melodic stuff. I've put all the melodic stuff into one group just so it's all affected. Put a little bit of convolution reverb and some soothe on there as well to cut out the resonance from the guitars. So yeah, this is the intro now. It sort of fades in a little bit more. And then from here, swoops up again. Yeah, I'll just play the full loop through at the end as well if you want to listen to it. Uh, it's definitely different to my usual style. Not sure I'll be finishing this one in particular, but I think I want to try something a little bit darker on the guitar uh, for a new track as well. But as I said, I'll drop the drum textures in the description down below if you want to use them for your own tracks. Uh, I'm just going to do a mix and master and then I'll play through the whole thing now. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.